Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn a new lesson that is the Earth, our home. Children, in the night time, what you can see in the sky? You can see the moon and stars. Can you count the stars? No, we cannot count the stars. As they are numerous, we cannot count the stars in the sky. And the star is nothing but it is also one of the planet. See here, children, we are having the solar system. In this solar system, we are having the eight planets. We are having the eight planets. The eight planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Here in these eight planets, we can see that the Earth, main topic we are discussing about the Earth. That Earth we are having in this planet in the third place. About this Earth planet that we are learning today. So the Earth is very important. Why? Because we are also living on the earth. The animals, human beings uh, are living on the earth. And next, uh, this earth is uh, the solar system. It is one of the planet. It is uh, a family. The earth, our home, it is our planet. Okay. Next, uh, this earth, it is uh, made up of uh, land and water. The earth is made up of uh, land and water. Here, uh, you can see that. If you take one cake, suppose here I have shown the picture like a cake. In this cake, we have divided into four equal parts. These four equal parts, you can see that the three-fourth is shaded and one-fourth part is not covered, not shaded. So here the three-fourth is nothing but these three-fourth part is a water and the one-fourth part is a land area. Here in this three-fourth part, where we are discussing about the three-fourth part is water means, what are the land, what are the water forms means, we are having the oceans, lakes, rivers, seas, ponds, etc. So these are all come under the water forms. Next, what are the land forms means, mountains, plateaus, plains, these all comes under the land forms. So here the earth is made up of a water and land okay next if you see that the earth it is a surrounded by one layer the earth is surrounded by one layer suppose think this is only the earth the earth we are having in a rounding shape that earth is a surrounded by one layer that layer is nothing but it is the atmosphere the surrounded by the layer of air is called the atmosphere in that layer, we are need we are need of a water and air. Children can we live without air and water? No, we cannot live even for one hour or one five minutes. When we feel thirsty, immediately we will take some water and we will drink. If you are not having a power, we will immediately we use a hand fans. Why? Because we cannot live without air and we cannot live without water. So we need that air and water in that atmosphere. The layer of air, the layer of air is surrounded by the earth that is called the atmosphere. And here, so many people in the previous years, in many years ago, the people thought that to travel to long distances. But they were unaware to travel the long distances. Why? Because they were very afraid of that. Why? Because they doesn't know that it doesn't, the earth is not having any particular edge to that. So they were very afraid and they did not travel any long distances. If now we are going, if we want to go anywhere, we are going some long distances using our vehicles or aeroplanes. We are using and we are going some long tours. But they doesn't know that they are not having a particular edge to our earth and they did not travel anywhere. Later on, some people like Aristotle and Copernicus, they said that the earth was like a ball. Ball is in which shape, children? It is in rounding shape. So, the Copernicus and Aristotle, they said that the earth is like a ball without edges. So, here the Aristotle and the Copernicus, what they have said, after that, one, per, one man, he proved that the earth was round in shape. How we have proved it? Ferdinand Magellan, he is the great person, first person in the world. He proved that Ferdinand Magellan have proved that the earth was round.
round in shape but it was not flat further megan proved that the earth was a round in shape it was not flat how he have proved it? he started his voyage voyage is nothing but the sea journey means he is going on a ship he started his journey from spain he started his journey from the spain the sail the west and again he after 3 years after 3 years he reached the same place from where he started his journey means today suppose from here he has started This is the place where we have started. Here, where we have started, from this place to the continue, he started his started his journey, and then he stopped his journey here because he reached the same place from where we he have started his journey. But how much time he have taken to take his journey, complete his journey? Three years he have completed. Yes, children. You can see that here the map pointing. Okay, here in this uh, the blue color shaded. You can see this is nothing but already I have explained you that uh, the three fourth part is a uh, water and remaining one fourth is a uh, land. So here uh, the water surface you can see everywhere in the in the map here. So the water surface is covered with the blue color and you can see some oceans: Pacific Ocean, Arctic Ocean. and uh, atlantic ocean and southern ocean you can see here so these are the oceans you can see in this map and here the main is continent is asia continent in this continent only we are living and it is the biggest continent also so here you can see the europe also it is also one of the continent africa it is also one of the continent and australia these are all the continents and mainly about the ocean we are discussing that uh, it is the biggest continent and in this continent only we are living and these are all the oceans which are covered with the blue color